On Friday night, we took a high-speed train back to Yangzhou to see Mu's family. The train ride was only two hours, however, we did spend an hour afterwards going through security and COVID testing to get into Yangzhou. The next day, after a noodle breakfast, we went for a COVID test. If you come from Shanghai and you're moving to a different city, you have to have a COVID test every day of your stay. Most of our time in Yangzhou, we spent visiting family and having dinners with them, but we did have a little bit of time to explore the city. The weather was actually too hot to be outside, so no slender west lake this time. However, we did find a couple of cafes. The cafe was very quiet and just what we needed to escape the heat. Mew ordered an iced Americano and I love the little spherical ice cubes. And this coffee cost 16 RMB. As a non-coffee drinker, I had a lemon iced tea and I believe it was lemon and kumquat, again with the spherical ice cubes. It was very refreshing and just what I needed. Mm. It's delicious. The music in this cafe was also great, however I can't share the audio because of copyright. One thing I love about cafe hopping is seeing all the different interiors and decor styles. finishing up at this cafe and walking through some of the old city we decided we want to find somewhere with some dessert down a little side alley we found another cafe the Taoshi unlike the last cafe this one was very busy and it was quite difficult to find a seat this cafe is open until 11 p.m. and also serves food. We decided to share an Oreo cheesecake and also share a lychee rose sparkling tonic drink. If you look closely, you can see that the drink even has a shimmery finish. I love these little details and now I can see why the cafe was so popular. In the evening we prepared for another big family dinner. I didn't film very much because I didn't want to be rude whilst we were having family time. On Sunday morning we had another home-cooked family lunch before heading off back to the train station to go back to Shanghai in the early afternoon. I think Yangzhou is such a beautiful city and I would love to spend some more time here. However, with our work schedules, the best we can do is a quick weekend away. One of the top things to do in Yangzhou is to visit Slender West Lake which is a beautiful gardens and if you can remember episode 4 we visited there at Chinese New Year. 
Whilst we didn't have time in this trip, I thought I would share some footage from winter so you can see some of the other things that the city has to offer. railway station in Yangzhou was much more peaceful than in Shanghai. And after a short wait, we were able to board the train. Absolutely love train journeys and staring out the window for hours on end. If you have any recommendations on things to do in Yangzhou for my next visit, let me know. Thank you for watching and join us next episode on Expat Now.